Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be installing Pokemo on the Steam Deck. That's right, the number one, in my opinion, in most other people's opinions, whatever everyone's opinion really, the best Pokemon MMO ever, or, or right now, right? We're going to be installing it on the Steam Deck, launching from game mode, all in one video, and is this going to, is this going to work? And here's how you do it. So jump into desktop mode, just like I've done. Scroll down, open your browser, you're going to want to go to this website that I'm on right here. Pokemo.com or PokeMMO.com. Uh, it will look like this when you first enter it. It's a great game. It's online, so you can see all the other players. It, it, sw it smooches five different regions into one game. You can travel to all regions. All, po all Pokemon are accessible. There's even Mega Evolutions, Shinies. Uh, you, you, you can catch all the legendaries. There's, there's, it's it's awesome. I'll show you that in just a minute once we've installed it. But for now, let's get into it. So you've opened the page. Go to downloads. We're going to go right through this, guys. We're going to get we're going to get it done as quickly as possible. Uh, go to Linux because that's what Steam Deck runs on. Is Linux. Make sure to register first. You have to have an account to to play the game. So just click register, create your account, verify that, and then come back here. Click download client. It will then ask you if you want to download Pokemo. Well, we will for me since I've, I've changed the settings for download, so it asks me each time uh, what I want to call it and stuff. You just instantly download it to downloads folder, um, like so. There's tick there. Then you want to minimize that. Don't get rid of it. Go to your downloads folder. Do -do 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 -do. Here we are. And in our downloads folder, we now have Pokemo client. What you want to do is you want to left trigger on that. You want to go extract. Then you want to click Extract Archive 2, Archive, Archive 2. And then you just pick where you want to extract the archive, which is the game folder, right? So where you might have a, something in your homes, maybe you can make a game folder in there. I just extract it straight to my home folder. Um, see, there it is, right? You can put it in your documents, you can put it in your desktop. Doesn't matter where, where you extract it to, pick wherever you want. So I've extracted it to my just home and just plopped it right there. And then just click Extract to do that and it'll do it. Uh, the next thing... Uh, on the list is to gather uh, the necessary ROMs. So, because this is based off first uh, Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, um, you need one of them, but may as well get both. Uh, so, this is how you do that. Well, obviously, I can't show you how to get the ROMs, but I'll show you where to put the ROMs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, once you've downloaded all the necessary ROMs, and if you want to know what all the ROMs you need are, if you go to this page here where you downloaded the client, right at the bottom, as you can see, it says, Current required compatible ROMs, black and white, black or white, just get both of them uh, uh, and chuck them in the necessary folder. I'll show you in a second. Current optional content, which of course you're going to want to add, so it uh, makes you also grab Fire Red, Emerald, Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. And once you have all those ROMs, this is what you do with them. So obviously you download them, they'll all be here, right? You're unzipping them, you're like, oh, where do I put where do I put the ROMs? Easy peasy. Just go, go to home or documents, or wherever you've just extracted that folder to, right? Open up the folder, there it is, uh, Pokemo Clients, and you'll see this right here. And as you can see, there's a folder for ROMs. That's where you put the ROMs. As you can see, I've got them all here. There's black and white and soul silver. As you can see, the Nintendo DS versions, they get the Game Boy Advance, but uh, they're all necessary. They all, they all work perfectly with uh, with the game. So once you've got those ROMs, just drop them in the ROMs folder here. Now, it would be nice if we could just then add this to Steam and launch it, but in the majority of cases, it just, yeah, it just crashes, doesn't work. Uh, but here's the fix, and here's how to get it working instantly. So the next thing you want to do, we've downloaded it, we've got the folder, we've put, got the ROMs, we've put them in the ROMs folder, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Next thing, we need Java. As you can see, I have a Java folder here full of all this lovely stuff. You don't have it. You'll be like, hey, wait a minute, I don't have a Java folder. What's that? Well, you need to download it. I need to extract it to here like this. I will link this in the description. Here is my notepad here. Here's the link to the files that you need for Java versions that first in 17.0.9. Uh, so again, link is in the description. You're just going to, you want to click that. It should instantly... Download it into your downloads folder for me. Again, uh, for, for me, for you. Uh, again, it looks like this for me because I've asked it to do this uh, so I can rename files when I download them. Just click save if this is the case. If not, it'll just automatically download into your downloads folder. I'm going to overwrite that because I've already got it, but just to show you, I am downloading from this link that I'm going to give all, to you, all of you guys. 
um, and then go to your downloads folder and you'll have another folder now which is JDK 17 which is a uh, version 17 Linux version of Java Ugh. and then you're gonna wanna left trigger on that and press extract and go to extract archive 2 and then where are we extracting it to that's right our pokey MMU folder so let's go to it it's just home and poke MMO client or again, wherever you decide to drop it, you can put it on your desktop, you can put it wherever you want, it's up to you. And you just open the folder and then you just press extract. Obviously I've already done this, but again, I'm just gonna do it to show you what it would look like and exactly how you should do it. And then you wanna navigate again back to that folder. So home it is for me. I'm gonna keep repeating this just in case. <laughs> for me, it's in home, for you it might be in desktop again, wherever you first extracted the official client. That first thing we downloaded, right? Uh, go into there and you'll now see you have a new folder labeled JDK1709. Just rename that Java, like I've done here. That's the same things, just to show you. Open up that folder I just downloaded. Here it is. Open up the folder I already have. Same thing, okay? Same thing. Okay, it's showing you the same thing. So I'm going to delete that because obviously I already have it. So make sure to rename that Java, by the way. Okay. And the last thing you want to do to get this all ready to go. Uh, we'll just minimize that for a snow one. I actually need this. Mm, minimize it. Next thing you want to do <laughs> is grab these two lines of code here. Uh, and we're going to be pasting them somewhere quite uh, um, unique, I guess. I couldn't really think of a word there. The unique will do. Just press copy. Again, this will be in the description as well. So just drag your mouse over that and copy that. Find the code. Go back to your documents, back into your Pokemon folder. Hopefully you didn't X out of it. And uh, yes, navigate back there. Then go over to pokemo.sh, is what you used to launch it. And press open with Kate. Kate is what we need. Kate's going to bring up a bunch of text and some gobbledygook. Uh, I'm just going to delete this bit to show you what it would look like for you and then redo it. So I'm going to cut that out. So when you uh, open it with Kate, it will look like this, right? The page will look like this. The file will look like this. All you have to do is between these two lines, number 17, just click and paste in what I have, um, what I've given you guys there in the description. And then just press save and then X out. Okay. And that should be everything. Yep, that's everything. Now the last thing to do, of course, is to add it to Steam. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that by now, but we're gonna do it anyway. So just go to Pokemo here. The launcher here and just if you're wondering what this is the pokemon.exe that's that's for windows as you see it's a windows icon there so that's what you'd use um if you were doing this on windows we're not doing it on linux so come over here left trigger or right click uh then we're going to do i forgot what i was doing there yes add to steam click add to steam and it will automatically add this to your steam library and you could now launch it from steam okay that is all done now we're just going to demonstrate launching it from gaming mode just to show you it's all working so we're going to x out of this i have been experiencing one or two problems with my steam deck lately so if it decides to um spaz out on me not very often occasionally does i will um restart the steam deck so feel free to forward pass forward past that because i'm not going to take the time to edit this out if that happens here we go so now we're going over to game mode Waiting for the Steam Deck logo. There it is. That's what I like to see. And before we get there, oh, we're already there. I recommend uh, using the plugin Theme DB so you can edit the artwork for your Pokemon. Like here it is for me, right? No bullshit, just games. Yours will just be blank. It'll look boring. So I recommend again the plugin with Decky Loader Theme DB so you can edit it, and you can also edit the theme music. Um, with uh, Ryan remind myself because who doesn't like some Pokemon theme music? Am I right? Yeah, game theme music, and you can literally add the Pokemon theme music to the app as well. So before you launch the game, <laughs> I, I mean, it's, <laughs> oh, it's awesome! Right, let's launch. Be the very okay. Let's launch the game. Launch the game. I'm gonna get it too wrapped up into this. We're gonna be here forever. Launch the game. Some people would say to use experimental or change the proton. Works fine perfectly for me after doing all of this. And at first the game will look like this. It's not filling the whole screen, is it? That's because when you boot it up, it forgets 
the resolution setting for some reason, just click settings. Click on display resolution. As you can see, you now have an option for 1280 by 800, which is what we want. And you can even increase the uh, FPS like I did to 90 if you want. So you can see 90 FPS. Um, probably not needed on this kind of game. But anyway, press save. Let me. Boom. There we go. Now it fills the whole screen. It looks amazing. Now you do is you log in. And press log in. And log in. And then you'll create your character. You'll customize. Then you'll select from the five different regions. <laughs> of where you want to start your game. You don't start from one of the regions randomly. You get to pick because you get to know exactly what type of Pokemon you're going to be getting and what type of starters. And yes, you can pick Pikachu. Um, I'm, I'm actually... Can you pick Pikachu? I think it's only in Kanto. Well, you'll be able to find out, I'm sure. Let me just refocus that for you guys. Um, I personally went with the Diamond and Pearl area, which I think is Sinnoh, because I really wanted Tepig for my... Tepig? Turtwig? Turtwig. For my um, for my starter, and here we are. And it's really just that simple, guys. And again, what's really cool about this game? I know you, you can, you're more than happy to click off the video right now, but I'm just going to go through the game a little bit, so because it's really awesome. So you're just going to come down, and here we are. And as you can see, there are actual people in this game. They are real live people. I mean, isn't it amazing? <laughs> And yes, you can challenge. There's one right there. You can challenge them to duels. It's just like the real game. You can do gym battles, evolve your Pokemon. There is even again Mega Evolution, which is awesome. Only really just started on this game, so. No. Oh look, another one choose Turtwig. Oh, first I renamed my guy Grover. Here's the battles here. Now, I removed the background. You can have a different background for the battles, but it works perfectly. And there's. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon to use and catch and train and battles and an amazing um, uh, art that they've done for this game. The, oh, it's, it's it's just simply amazing. Um, I, I need to rework the controls clearly, so I would rather use the D-pad than this. But uh, that's actually very simple. Just go to um, Steam, go to Control Settings, and you can change it. So right now, I'm doing Gamepad with joystick. Uh, instead, I could do gamepad with gyro, gamepad with mouse. You can change it to whatever you want. We'll just use joystick for now. As you can see, it's really just that simple. Um, I want to level up my Starly. I want a Star Raptor, bro. So Starly's not going to die this time, even though it's weak as shit. Come on, Starly, go, go, Starly. Stay alive, stay alive. You're at full HP. You're not going. Yeah, I know it's super effective. Oh my god. Oh, you better go first. You have to go first. Go first. You gust. Yes. Fuck you. Fuck you, Badoof. <clears throat> Maybe I'm enjoying this a bit, a bit too much. But, ah, I don't even level up. Come on. Oh, well, boys, that is Poke MMO. Enjoy. Enjoy.